Hello, my name is John Terrell. I'm an application engineer with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. Today I'm going to show you a short um, video on the, using the Chaining Manager and Mastercam for SolidWorks 2020. So we'll go ahead and get started. We have our machine. We've created our stock already for the boundaries of what we're going to be milling away from this particular part. So let's go ahead and We'll do the drop down in 2D high speed machining and we're going to pick our dynamic mill. In the chaining manager, we do have some options here. So what we're going to do, we want to pick the avoidance region and we will pick the part as the avoidance. Master Cam will know to go ahead and mill all the surrounding stock away from the part. So with picking that, we come down. In Master Cam Chaining Manager for SolidWorks, we have some different options here. We have the uh, face, surface, solid, uh, specific uh, boss or cavity. Here we have a segment. This one here is a uh, edge segment, and this one here is edge solid. So what we'll do, we'll pick edge solid on this particular. Part. And what we need to do, we need to come in and just pick one particular edge. When we pick that particular edge, it will open up our propagation drop down. So what we want to do is come along and pick propagate along tangent edges. So that will pick and highlight our part. As you can see, it picked the whole outside uh, peripheral area, which is what I want to pick. And at this point, we're good to go. We can go ahead and green check out. Let's go ahead and create our tool path. We've got a half inch flat end mill. Set our cut parameters. Give the tool a little breakthrough so it does pass past the, the, the depth of the part by 50 thousandths. And let's put in our linking parameters. Throw in a little clearance and Set that to absolute, and our depth is highlighted with minus 800 thousandths. At that point, let's screen check out, let it process the path, and we have our dynamic tool path created. The next one I would like to show you is to do a contour all the way around this particular part to finish it. And here we will go ahead and select our 2D tool path, contour. Here, we're going to go ahead and we have the same selections again. So we'll pick edge and we'll come in, we'll pick this one edge. There again, it only picked the, the, the one edge we selected, so we have no propagation. So at that point, it does activate that. So we can come in here and pick propagate along tangent edges. This is, this chaining manager is different than the standard version of Mastercam. So at this point we have, we have picked all the way around the part. So it, I want to go up, now I want to stay in here and go to chain and make sure our chain's running in the right direction. It's not, it would not be running right. It would be going the opposite direction. So I want to change it. And then I have the option here to come down and tell it where I want to start my tool path. And I want to start it right here. So that looks good. So now we go back, set up our tool path. Everything looks good there. Breakthrough, we do need to put that in there. And our linking parameters, which is our clearance, retract, and our depth. And as you can see here, we have a very nice contour tool path all the way around the part. And the last one we want to cover is a partial chain in Mastercam for SolidWorks Chaining Manager. So we'll go back and we'll pick 2D Contour. Here, I'm going to select the edge again, and we'll start over here. So we'll pick that edge. When we pick that edge, from the last selection, we have Propagate Along Tangent Edges selected. We want to turn that off on this one. And let's go ahead and pick some edges here. And again, we want to go in to our chain. 
make sure that it's running in the right direction. Everything looks good there. We could actually move this around if we wanted to, but there's no reason we want to start it out on that edge and come across the face of the part. So let's green check out again, and we can go ahead and pick our parameters, our breakthrough, and everything looks good there. And as you can see, we have a partial toolpath, a contour toolpath going along the front of the part. We went through three different ways of trying to chain this particular part in Mastercam for SolidWorks. 2020. I hope this tip helps you and you have a good day.